top five corny ass motorcycle movies. Let's go for a ride. Here, this is my most favorite helmet ever. Ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that had, comes with an auto tint shield. My motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep your cell. All of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. I'll tell you guys, a lot of the motorcycle movies out there, a lot of them are corny as but I'll tell you, number one, as cool as ice, Vanilla Ice's motorcycle movie. I think that was his like first movie. I, maybe his only movie that he did. I don't know, man. But that movie sucked. That that has to be the number one worst motorcycle movie that I think I've personally ever seen, man. That was so corny. And it was like, it was like, it should be called as cool as a bag. <laughs> That's what they should have called it. <laughs> Because it was just so corny, man. He's riding, of course, they're riding like squids. In the hair blowing in the wind. He's got baggy ass clothes. Back then, baggy clothes were in, so I'll give him a break on that because that was a style back then. But uh, it just on ridiculous stunts on the bike. I mean, he sees this chick riding a horse that he ends up, you know getting with later on in the movie but he freaking flies over the fence I don't know who the hell directed this movie who wrote this movie but that is just freaking corny as f where the f how is a motorcycle gonna fly over the fence <laughs> it was like like he like he did a, a wheelie jump over the fence and he was just trying to be so cool in the movie. It was just so lame. It just, honestly, it made us sport bike riders look bad. Really, that just kind of adds to the stereotype as us bikers being bags. Anyways, number two, Biker Boys. And I've mentioned this in my other top five motorcycle uh, movies video that I did previously. I mentioned it at the end on the reason why I didn't put it on that top five list. Obviously, it's it's one of the corniest motorcycle movies out there. The only thing that's kind of cool, yeah, they do some wheelies and stunts like that, but it's absolutely freaking corny, man. They um they race at the end, this big race. They freaking race on a dirt track. Who in the hell races on a dirt track, man? <laughs> on sport bikes. Crazy. And uh, and then of course, doing squid shit on the highway. They jump off their bikes. They like got freaking shoes that have like uh, metal cleats on it or something. And they're like uh, having fun sparkling their feet up on the side of their bike. I don't even know what, what the hell kind of shoes they had on, but it, they slid. And uh, it just, I don't know, it's just complete, uh, like I said, another movie that adds to the whole sh stereotype to motorcycle riders, man. Anyways, number three on the list, Torque. That movie was so bad, sport bike movie was so bad that I actually, I didn't even see all the movie, man. I was like, I just saw right off the jump how corny it is. Like I said, I don't know who writes these movies or directs these movies to come up with these absolutely ridiculous, ass, unrealistic, cheesy ass stunts, uh, computer generated or whatever they do to make these stunts. It's ridiculous. Like a jet, the one in the scene that has a jet powered motorcycle that does a flip. Just crazy stuff that it's not real it's not realistic corny 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 movie man like I said I couldn't even get through the movie Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage another super corny movie 
this based on I guess a comic book character you know supposedly sells his soul to the devil or whatever so he can turn into a demon with a flaming skull he can turn into this ghost rider biker and uh, just complete corniness cheesiness that's another movie I couldn't get I couldn't watch in its entirety I, I think I I don't even remember that movie so much it was so I cut it off I think like probably like the first 20 minutes or so I couldn't take it Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man uh, that's that should be called uh, bag and the super bag man that was a uh, it, it basically, it wasn't even really a motorcycle movie. It's these guys, you know, with the drama. A drama movie, basically, with just guys riding a motorcycle. And squids. As I said, just uh, to add, to me, just makes, adds douchiness to it. I don't know. I thought it was a stupid movie. I don't know. It just, uh... So I, I, that really shouldn't even be on the list because it's really not a motorcycle movie. That, but they make it seem like it is because they have the title Harley Davidson and Marlboro Man. It's like it's not really revolve around motorcycles, but they ride a motorcycle in it. So that I guess that makes it a motorcycle movie. <laughs> Douche. Uh, I don't know what it is with the Harley Davidson and the bags though, man. I tell you guys, there's a lot of cool people, the riders that I know that ride Harley Davidson. So I, Take care. You can't stereotype the whole group of Harley Davidson riders, but I tell you guys, in the media, they sure do betray Harley Davidson riders as bags, and that's one of those movies. Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Head. <laughs> why can't we have better, why can't they come up with better motorcycle movies? They, they have all these brilliant riders, but I guess none of them ride a motorcycle, so they don't know they don't know how to ride it properly. They just come up with these absolutely ridiculous, uh, stupid stunts and just douchebaggery. But anyways, that's all I have for you in this video, guys. If you want to see more of my top video five videos or other video playlists that I've done, go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized in a various playlists. And hopefully you can find something that will inform you, entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. And tell them to stay away from these horrible, cheesy ass motorcycle movies that I just mentioned. And uh, But hey, subscribe to my All The One Motorcycle channel. Appreciate all you guys. So until next time, catch you guys later. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.